Hello, my name is Natalia. I'm a lecturer in chemistry at the University of Sheffield. In this video, I will talk about nutrients for plants that plants take from soil and about research done at our university in collaboration with Kansas State University and the University of Alabama in the US to develop a new technique to measure nutrients in soil. What do plants need to grow? We all know that plants need sun and water, but also in the same way as our bodies need vitamins to be healthy, plants need nutrients to be healthy and produce crops. And those nutrients are some of the elements that we can find in the periodic table that we study in chemistry. The key nutrients are potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. So how do plants get those nutrients? Fortunately, uh, these elements are already there in soil and all plants need to do is absorb them from soil through their roots. But there is a problem. Uh, as the nutrients get used up, they need to be replenished. And that means that gardeners need to add plant foods and in the same way farmers need to add fertilizers to their fields. So it is very important both for home gardeners and especially for farmers to know how much nutrients there are already there in soil to decide where the plant food needs to be added and how much. If there are not enough nutrients, our plants uh, may get weak and die and uh, crops in farms may not produce enough harvest. But if too much fertilizer is added in farms, then the excess would flow into rivers and pollute them. So to help us with this, there are test kits which we can use to measure nutrients in our gardens. I will also tell you about exciting new research that we are doing here at the University of Sheffield uh, in partnership with colleagues in the US to develop a new sensor to measure the phosphorus nutrient in soils and farms. Let's have a look at how we can measure nutrients in our gardens. First, I will collect some soil. The soil should be crumpled and left to dry if too wet. And then we can use a test kit to measure nutrients. This is my test kit. It has some test tubes and reactants to measure soil pH and nutrients such as phosphorus, nitrogen and potassium. Uh, I will measure two nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is important because it forms a part of chlorophyll, the molecule that helps plants convert CO2 into organic molecules such as sugars. Chlorophyll is also what makes plants green. Phosphorus is important because it is a part of the ATP molecule, the molecule that allows plants and also animals store and release energy. Let's start with the nitrogen test. For this, I will need soil, these two test tubes, Uh, the reactant solution and the reactant powder. First, uh, I will use this big test tube. I will put some soil uh, into the test tube using this little spoon. As you can see, there are quite a few steps in the measurement. This works well when we are doing the occasional measurement of soil in the garden or in plant pots. But it is not practical for farmers who have large fields and they need to measure different spots in the field. This is why, with colleagues at the University of Sheffield and in the US, we are developing a different kind of test. Instead of using chemicals, we will be using electrodes. Electrodes measure electric signal in the same way as hospitals use electrodes to measure electric signal in patient's brain. In our research, we want to measure the electric signal produced by one particular nutrient, phosphorus. Our partners in the US are developing this kind of electrode, first by testing it on a simple model system, a water solution. Then our soil scientist colleagues will take these electrodes and use them in soil in the field. And now this solution needs to be put aside for five minutes to react. Let's now look at the phosphorus test of the soil in my garden. This test is very quick and the result is available immediately. 
and we can view the results by comparing the color of the solution against the color test chart. The solution is blue-green, which means that there is sufficient phosphorus in the soil in my garden. In the meantime, five minutes have passed and the nitrogen test is also ready. And we can compare it against the nitrogen color chart. The color of the solution is pale pink, which means that this soil is deficient in nitrogen. The electrodes that we are developing in the research lab will be buried in the soil and will stay there in the soil and they will be continuously taking measurements. So how will farmers know the results of those measurements? Each set of electrodes will have a small wireless transmitter, a bit like in your mobile phone. And they will be sending a wireless signal, which will be picked up and uploaded on the internet. And then farmers will be able to access those measurements using a mobile phone. In this way, farmers will know how much phosphorus there is in different parts of their fields, and they will be able to add the right amount of fertilizer at the right time to have healthy crops.